Hey champ, today I'm going to show you how to quit sugar in 5 days or how to remove refined sugar from your diet over the next 5 days. When I decided to give up processed sugar for good a couple of years ago, I didn't really know where to begin or how to actually do it. It took a bit of research and what I found was that refined processed sugar was in almost everything we normally eat. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can begin practically so you may give up refined sugar in 5 days and lose weight quickly. Welcome my friends, I'm here with another video about losing weight by quitting sugar. Click the link in the description of this video to access your free 1 day sugar free meal plan. This is Gerald, your health coach and chef, let's begin. It's been my experience that if you're used to eating sugar all the time and then try to give up everything that contains sugar in just one day, it can feel like torture. It's not sustainable. And I'm going to show you how you can take just five days to start and change and remove refined sugar from your diet using five simple steps. Once you make an effort to eat less processed sugar, you may start to notice that you have more sustained energy less sugar crashes and just feel better overall. Each of the five days we're going to focus on a specific meal or eating time and I'm going to show you how to make healthier food choices that contain less sugar or no processed sugar at all. Don't worry, just because it's sugar free doesn't mean that it needs to taste like brown water or dirt. I've got you covered with some delicious recipes and ideas that are healthier. So let's get started with day one. On day one, we're going to start small. We're going to start with something simple that everyone can easily do. Let's begin with breakfast. Breakfast cereals and pre-packaged breakfast foods usually contain a huge amount of processed sugar, and they're really not that healthy. If you're going to grab a bowl of cereal, try rather to grab a bowl of gluten-free granola that's totally refined sugar free. Be sure that it's made from gluten free granola or something like that from a good reputable health food brand. Read the label and read the sugar content to know exactly what you're eating. Make some oatmeal or overnight oats with whole rolled oats. It's an easy option. This is a great alternative to dry cereal. Stay away from instant or quick oats because these are often highly processed and contain added sugars we don't need or want. To sweeten your breakfast naturally, use fresh fruits, any fruit that you like. Of course, if you're still getting used to going sugar free, then you can start by adding a teaspoon of 100% pure maple syrup or raw honey or even stevia. The truth is that all sugars, even refined sugars, are broken down in the body in the same way. Sugars from whole carbs like whole grains and fruits also contain tons of fiber and nutrients that the body needs. Eating healthy fiber, healthy fats, and proteins with your carbs really helps your body process sugar better and helps to reduce those crazy sugar highs that could get from eating something like candy which is basically just pure refined sugar. But sweeteners like xytol, erythritol, and stevia have a less impact on the blood sugar levels in the body. So these are great choices if you're trying to make a switch to a sugar-free lifestyle. Making a smoothie can be another high protein option for breakfast and you can use fruit to sweeten it too. So you don't need to add any other kinds of sweeteners. On day two of this five day no sugar challenge, Let's tackle something that's obviously loaded with processed sugar, desserts and treats. So you already know that things like cake, sweets, candy, store-bought chocolate, pastries and cookies are made from processed ingredients that are full of processed sugar. I'm going to show you a quick and easy healthy treat recipe that you can have instead of any other conventional dessert that you're used to eating. These are my healthy brownie bites and I'm so excited to share them with you. They're completely refined sugar free and are full of fiber, whole carbs, good protein, and healthy fat. 
Start with 20 fresh Metajoule dates. Cut them into quarters and then soak them in a bowl of warm water for about 15 to 20 minutes. While the Metajoules are soaking, add the rest of the ingredients to a bowl. One cup of freshly chopped walnuts, one cup of roughly chopped cashews, half a cup of unsweetened coconut, half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, four tablespoons of unsweetened almond butter, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and two to three teaspoons of unsweetened vanilla extract, and also a pinch of sea salt, and just mix that together. So now, after the dates have soaked for about 20 minutes, I've drained the water and I'm just adding them to a plate. If you got a food processor, you can blend all the ingredients together. Add the date paste to a bowl with the rest of the ingredients and mix it together. I find it easier just to use my hands to get the batter really well mixed. You can make sure that you wash your hands properly first. And then once the batter is all blended together, take a tablespoon at a time and press the batter between your hands into a ball shape. Add about one quarter cup of extra coconut flakes in a little bowl. Roll the brownie balls to coat them with a little bit of extra coconut so they're not so sticky on the outside. Use up all the batter and you can serve them immediately. These don't need to be in the fridge, but they're actually quite delicious when they're chilled. Just store them in an airtight container to keep them fresh and you can store them in the fridge and make them last even longer. These are a fantastic healthy snack or a healthy treat or an alternative to store-bought dessert that is loaded with refined sugar and refined flour. These brownie bites are full of nutrients and they're so delicious. The perfect healthy chocolate treat and obviously fruit makes a great healthy treat for dessert too. All we need to do is get in the habit of switching up our processed sugars for healthier whole carb foods and fruits. On day three of this five day no sugar challenge, we're going to focus on lunch and dinner. A lot of people that are trying to be healthier choose to eat salads for either their lunch or dinner or for both. Salads can be a really quick and healthy, but what often happens is that while the salad itself is healthy, the salad dressings are often loaded with processed ingredients and refined sugar and lots of empty calories too. Here's an easy salad dressing recipe that you can make yourself. This salad dressing recipe is simple and a bit more flavorful. Start with one teaspoon of unsweetened balsamic vinegar, a little squeeze of fresh lemon juice with one quarter teaspoon of Italian herbs, black pepper, and some sea salt and just mix that together. Then whisk in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and drizzle it all over your salad. And here's one of my favorite pasta sauce recipes. The truth is that, just like salad dressings, sauces are often loaded with refined sugars too and other unnecessary ingredients. Add one teaspoon of olive oil to a hot pot, two cups of mushrooms, one cup of chopped bell pepper, one cup of onion, one cup of chopped cherry tomatoes, one or two teaspoons of dried Italian herbs, black pepper, sea salt, and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice and one cup of water. Cook over medium heat for about 10 minutes until the sauce becomes a sauce. You can add some extra ingredients to make the sauce a little thicker, such as two tablespoons of unsweetened tomato paste or one to two teaspoons of arrowroot powder. Serve the sauce with some plant-based or gluten-free pasta. This is a delicious, healthy sauce recipe that you can have with gluten-free pasta or even quinoa. Did you know that eating refined flours is basically the same as eating refined sugar? Processed white flours also lack fiber and nutrients, and at the end of the day, they're basically just like eating refined sugar too. On day four of this five day no sugar challenge, we're focusing on drinks. It seems that coffee and tea and even fruit juices and sodas are consumed by just about everyone. You can make an effort to eat really healthy food, cutting down on refined sugars, and making good food choices. Then, completely forget about what you're drinking, and sugars from drinks can easily start to add up. Just cutting down on sugary drinks like sodas and cutting out the amount of sugar that you add to teas and coffees can make a huge difference. So why not just try having your coffee or tea without sugar? 
Drink your coffee black. Start with fresh, locally roasted coffee beans. It's commonly known that it takes about 11 tries to try something new before you decide that you like it. And if you're having milk in your hot beverage, make sure it's unsweetened. A lot of milks and non-dairy milk alternatives, like almond or coconut milk, are actually sweetened. So try and find an unsweetened variety. And for the last day of our five day no sugar challenge, I wanna focus on something that might be the sneakiest way that refined sugar creeps into our diets. So on the fifth day of this five day no sugar challenge, pay more attention to what you're snacking on. Make sure that you read the nutrition label on your favorite snack bar, just to understand all of the ingredients. Roasted and salted nuts are a good source of snacking. You can grab a piece of fruit and a handful of nuts and you're good to go. You're going to get good, sustained energy, fibers, minerals, vitamins, protein, whole carbs, and healthy fats. I often grab an apple with a few almonds and put them in a sandwich bag when I'm on my way out and just keep that in my backpack for a healthy, easy snack. So on this five day no sugar challenge, we've learned how to avoid refined sugar in desserts and we got some healthier options that are super delicious. We've learned how to avoid excess sugar at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and what to watch out for for that super sneaky sugar that can creep into our favorite snacks, teas, coffees, and other drinks. Hey, thank you for watching the video, and I hope this video will help you in formulating your sugar-free diet plan. If you're interested in watching more videos about losing weight by quitting sugar, click the link in the description. Then. Hit the subscribe button and change its color to a beautiful red. See you in the next video.